Okay, start me. Okay. Uh, last night we had a, a couple dwarf Burmese uh, pythons lay eggs, and um, I've got them here. We're going to put set up the eggs for incubation. Um, in the in the last uh, couple of years, they've uh, there's been some taxonomic changes in the uh, Malurus complex. Um, the um, the Bibitatus subspecies has been elevated to full species status, and the uh, and a, a new subspecies of Bibitatus has been described, and that one is Progshy. That's what we have here. And these are quite a bit smaller than the um, uh, the Burmese pythons that we are used to. Now I am going to take their uh, take the eggs away here, start over here, and. Um, now, while they're perfectly capable of uh, incubating their own eggs, and in the wild, of course, they all do that, uh, in captivity, most of the time, I like to do it. I, I like to take care of that process myself. Uh, and you see, those are that is a nice, nice clutch of uh, eggs there. It looks like we've got, I don't know, we'll call it a dozen. We'll set those over here in some um, uh, vermiculite that we've gotten ready for the, this purpose, and then. If I can keep this one from biting me, uh, we'll take her eggs. You can see the pattern on this. On these are a little different than the um, than uh, bivitatus bivitatus. And I'm just going to do this without getting the bite here. And I have brought over a. Um, let's see, if she'll stay there. This is um, this is a bibitatus bibitatus egg, and you can see the um, the difference in size there. It is uh, it seems to me always that smaller snakes lay more elongated eggs, and bigger snakes are more likely to lay an egg that's rounder. So um, you can see these are some long and slender eggs, and I say that's about another dozen or so. But but. Um, uh, again, there's a comparison between the, uh, an average size egg of the, the Burmese python that we're used to see and, and the dwarf type here, um, uh, Python bibitatus progshy. Set those up there. And uh, Burmese pythons take about 56 days to hatch, and, and, uh, I, and these, are the, these are the same. Uh, we've bred these the last three years, and it's a little unusual, I think, uh, uh, to breed this subspecies in captivity, most of these animals, and uh, these included, uh, of the of the uh, prog shy in captivity, are um, wild adult, uh, are wild animals of wild origin, and I think it's always a little more difficult to take a, an adult animal out of the wild, uh, acclimate it to captivity, and then uh, breed it successfully. Um, I don't think there'll be any trouble with with. Uh, um, uh, succeeding generations, uh, starting with captive-born animals, they should, should be just as easy uh, to breed as any other Burmese python. So, anyway, we'll check back in about 56 days. Hopefully, we'll have some nice little babies.